DB5 got three workflow superheroes, Inspector, Find and Replace and Extend attributes. At first glance, they might seem like they are doing the same thing. But trust me, each one of them is built for a completely different mission. And in this video, we are going to deep dive into what makes each tool unique, how to use them step by step and exactly when to reach for which one. So get ready to cut hours of your designing time and fall in love with building again. So let's jump right in. What's the real difference between all these three power tools? Well, they all deal with colors, fonts and spacing, but they attack the problem from different angle. Now use inspector when you need to review and edit from a big picture view. Open it on any element and you get a full view inventory of everything in your selection organized by type. You are not hunting for a specific value. You are seeing the whole design landscape. Click any value and change it. Everything updates together. Perfect for inheriting a site with five slightly different grays. Open inspector, see them all listed and harmonize in one click. It's your audit and edit command center. When to use find and replace. Use find and replace when you know exactly what need to be changed. You have a specific value in mind like swapping orange from teal across the site. So just right click the field, enter the new value and pick your scope and run. The tool finds every match and swipe it instantly. It's idle for targeted updates like switching from static fonts to variables or handling brand color changes. No browsing, just executing. Now when to use extend attributes. Use extend attributes when you have perfected one element and want to replicate it. Set up one killer CTA button and just copy it everywhere. You are building with consistency from the very beginning. It's your nail it once and apply everywhere superpower. Now if you're still unsure, I would highly recommend that you go ahead and check out our blog post that we are going to link in the video description below. So once you are done with this video, make sure you check out our blog post and I'm sure you will find it really helpful. So let's start with inspector first. You're all seeing design detective. This powerful panel gathers every single color, font, size, image and preset used in your selected item and all its children items. Then organize them neatly by type. So no more digging through scattered tabs. All your colors are in one place, all your fonts in another and all your spacing values grouped together. You can dock inspector right below your settings panel so it stays visible while you work. All you have to do is select a section and boom, every color in that section appears, change one and every instance updates instantly. The content tab shows text, media and code. The preset tab reveals every active module or group preset. Swipe or delete one and all linked element update at once. Inspector even shows repeat overrides. Give you total control over every design layer. Well, using inspector is a breeze. Right click on any element while you are inside visual builder and select inspect from the menu or click the inspector icon from the sidebar. The panel opens instantly showing everything about your element and its children. Keep it open and click around your page. Each click refreshes the data. You can also use breadcrumbs in your settings panel to target specific modules. You will see three tabs. Style for colors, fonts and spacing, content for text, images and code and presets for active presets. You can click on any, edit it and update any color and watch every instant shift live. You can swipe a preset and all elements using a change together. It's like having a design map that updates in real time. Now let's talk about find and replace your precision value swapper. This tool lets you replace any design setting across your page in seconds. Right click on any field in visual builder, type your new value and watch every matching instant updates instantly. Colors, fonts, padding, borders, anything goes. You control the scope 
one module or whole section or the entire page. So no more opening dozens of setting panels. Select a color field with your desired hex code and choose your scope and then hit replace. And it's done. It's a lifesaver for updating old sites or handling client revisions. You can even target specific element type like changing padding only in columns or fonts only in headings. The power is right where you need it. Open any element setting in Visual Builder and find the field you want to change. Click the three dots next to the field and select Find and Replace. The panel opens with current value preloaded. Then you can go ahead and type your new value in the replacement field and choose your scope from drop down that is this element, this element plus children and parent container or the whole page. Use the element type selector or narrow it further. You can pick all elements for broad changes or specific modules for precision. Then you can also toggle only replace identical fields to avoid accidental swaps like changing 10x border radius instead of 10x padding. Then click find and replace and everything updates. The entire process takes about 10 seconds once you know what you are doing. Next up, extend attributes, your style replicator on steroids. This evolved version of DB4 extends style copies any design element, style, content, preset or all of them from one module to other across your page. It even works between different module types. Copy button style from contact form to every CTA button. Grab typography from one text module and apply it to all headings. You can target individual fields with option groups like just the background color or spacing value. Anything you modify in an element becomes extendable. It's not just about copying style anymore. It's about building consistency from ground up. A quick overview of using this feature. Using extend attribute is simple and powerful. First, style your source element exactly how you want it. Then right click the component and select extend attributes. The panel opens where you can control everything. If your source is in set, you can select that. Choose your target scope, current column, row, section or entire page. Then pick which element type you want to update, all modules, specific one or category like containers. Then select what to extend. Here you need to select the styles for colors and spacing and content for text and images or maybe preset to sync alignments. You can extend all categories or drill down to individual fields. Now DB5 isn't just an update, it's a workflow revolution. Inspector, find and replace and extend attributes are built right into your visual builder. Right click, pick your tool and watch the magic happen. So no more endless clicking or inconsistent design. Open DB5, build a page and test these tools yourself. Your workflow will never be the same again. So if you are ready to design faster and smarter, dive into DB5 today and check out our blog post for more pro tips. And if you like this video, then make sure you give it a like and share it with your friends and community. And for more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. That's it for this one and I'll see you in the next video.